In this video I'm going to show you how to use the high pass filter with your photographies. Okay, I'm going to use uh, this photo here as an example for a demonstration. So the high pass filter can be found here. Go to the filter, other high pass. Okay, and here what you can change actually is the radius. Okay, you also got the preview option here. If you check, you will be able to see the preview over here. And the uh, high pass can be used for creating a, a lot of different results and I'm gonna show you a few of them and uh, uh, what the high pass filter actually does is you can see here it will gray out all the uh, all the areas except the edges and that's actually great uh, when you want to create the sharpening effect as you can sharpen up the edges and leave other areas untouched okay so uh, the high pass filter is actually most used for sharpening the photo, so that's what I'm going to uh, show you first. So, uh, just gonna go to cancel here. You have to, uh, for a sharpening effect, you have to duplicate your original background layer. Okay, so, go to right click and choose the duplicate layer, click OK. Now, go to filter, other high pass. So, now you have to choose the radius. Uh, this really depends on your photo, so you just have to take a look here at the preview and see which value goes the best with your photo. Uh, and with, uh, with uh, creating the uh, sharpen effects, usually I use the smaller values, something like this. Okay. So, just gonna click OK. And uh, now, what you have to do is to change the blending mode. And I usually use these five blending modes here. Okay. And uh, each one will create a different sharpening effect. Okay, some blend mode will make a more sharpening, some less. So you just have to experiment. Uh, so to see uh, which one goes the best for your photo, and also depends uh, what kind of sharpening you wish to add to your photo. So this is the overlay. Okay, you can see the differences. Okay, so I'm gonna use the linear light, just gonna click OK, and I'm just gonna click on the word opacity and drag it to the left side. So I just lowered the sharpen amount a little bit. So actually, now here, by moving this cursor here, you can actually control the amount of sharpen. So if I drag this to zero, it's actually this layer will not take any effect, it will be the same as you don't have the layer. It will not add in sharpening, and if you move it to 100, you will see you have a lot of sharpening. So I'm just gonna use some values like here. Okay, you can see the before and after. Uh, so you can really create a great sharpening effect uh, just in seconds. And what you can do then also is to add the layer mask. I'm just gonna uh, take a brush tool, soft brush, uh, set foreground color to black, and just brush here over the background quickly. So I remove the sharpening from the background and leave only the sharpening uh, to the subject. So when I turn off and on the layer mask, you can see the difference. Okay, so I will delete this layer now and I'm gonna duplicate again. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how can you uh, soft the, your photo. So just go to filter, other high pass again. And now uh, I'm gonna use some larger values, like something like here. Okay, just gonna click OK. And change the blending mode to the soft light. Okay, and while this layer is selected, just go to Image, Adjustments, and choose Invert. And you can see the difference, how to soften up the, your photo. Uh, and actually, uh, this is the color mode that goes the best uh, when you wish to soften the photo. So you can also change the opacity here. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'm also going to add a layer mask and just brush with the black over the areas that I want to be softened, uh, that I want to be uh, sharp in details, like this, okay? So you can see the difference. Okay. Leave it also to 100. Okay, so you also have to experiment uh, with the radius. It depends how much softening you, uh, you wish to add. So. Uh, if you wish to make uh, more soft photos, then uh, choose the larger radius. Okay, and I'm gonna duplicate the original layer, uh, the background layer again, and go to filter, other high pass. Okay, and now again, I'm going to use some larger values. Okay, something like this. 
So just gonna click OK, and now just going to change the color mode to the overlay, and just lower the opacity a little bit. And actually, what you get uh, on this way when you use uh, larger values with the radius, you will actually give the sharpening to your photo and also enhance the contrast. You can see the difference. You can also play now with these uh, blending modes. Okay, the soft light will create uh, a less contrast than the overlay. Okay. Just gonna lower it like this. Again, you can use the layer mask to remove the sharpening contours from the background. For example, like I will do now here. Okay, so you can see the before and after, and I'm pretty much happy with this effect. So I hope you understood everything, and thanks for watching.